Australia will purchase two different nuclear-powered submarines. As more details of the AUKUS deal surface, slide to Trudy McIntosh for more. Trudy, what do we know? I know these are all unconfirmed reports, but a few days until we find out, what are we finding out so far? Well, Tom, more details appear to be trickling in about how this AUKUS nuclear-powered submarine deal is going to operate. As you say, though, our government refusing to confirm any of this reporting from across the Atlantic with the UK and US media seeming to get many more leaks than we are about how this deal will be conducted. It's going to be announced uh, early next week in the United States with uh, Prime Minister Albanese alongside his US counterpart and UK counterpart. It looks like we are going to be shaping up for two completely different nuclear-powered submarines, purchasing potentially up to five Virginia-class US submarines early next decade so they can be in place here, and that will allow time for the, the development of this uh, new evolved version of the UK Astute-class submarine that will have US technology embedded within it. That design process, the construction, there is a real potential that that will blow out until the 2040s, and that is why the US capability is going to be so crucial. The Defence Minister and Acting Prime Minister Richard Miles this morning providing a, an assurance about the existing Collins-class submarines we have have here in this country, a warning really to the region that our capability currently still exists with that fleet of submarines. I'd want to give people a sense of confidence that the submarines that we have right now, the Collins-class submarines, are, are really capable submarines in, in 2023. But the question is whether or not it will be the same capability in the mid-2030s, which is why we've got to be thinking about that right now. And time really is of the essence. Uh, we shouldn't kid ourselves about what we face in the region at the moment mm -hmm. and if that gives longer time for a new design to be worked up and the problems to be ironed out, well, uh, that's, that's a good thing. Now, the details might be unconfirmed, but it hasn't stopped questions coming from the one state that's always obsessed with local construction on this project, Trudy. South Australia certainly has a very, very close eye on the details of what is going to happen with AUKUS. Premier Peter Malinowskis on Sky News this morning confirming that he has received assurances from the Albanese government that there is a local construction aspect to the new submarine class, expected to be called the AUKUS class of submarine. Now, this had been promised by Scott Morrison that there would be AUKUS submarines constructed in Adelaide. Peter Malinowskis confirming that that's the case. We don't have the time frame on that exactly when that will be or how many jobs it's going to support. But a pretty clear message here from the Premier that there is going to be lots of jobs in Adelaide as a result of this deal. So what commitments have you been given exactly about the, the local manufacturing component and the timing? Put simply, uh, that we will be building a nuclear submarine here in Osborne, South Australia, ASAP. Mm. And that means the work's got to start this year when it comes to building up the workforce capability that will be required. The workforce challenge Australia's Defence Force faces here is actually huge. The head of the AUKUS task force revealed earlier this week that the construction of subs and the industry around that is going to create something like 10,000 jobs. A lot of those need to be recruited people to, um, who have nuclear expertise. And this is all before we uh, think about the submariners that will be needed to actually crew these new fleet of submarines. So a huge project here to actually recruit the workers that we need to keep this sustainable.